I actually had enough with him. This is what your case is about. You allege that when he drove your son home at 7.30, there was a kerfuffle. You were annoyed that he brought him home at 7.30. He was annoyed because of him, whatever, and you allege that he scratched your car. Yes. I want you to tell me how that transpired. So he was text messaging me, be home. I, I pulled up and I stayed out. You pulled up where? In front of my home. So you come home and you pull up in front of your house. Right. And I didn't uh, even get out. I stayed in my vehicle because I figured Jackson had not eaten. So I was going to just take off after he dropped him off. So he comes speeding, speeding around the corner and slams on his brakes. Now we're, you know, like nose to nose. And I get out of my vehicle to go to the passenger side to get Jackson out of the car. And he, at that time, exited his vehicle. So now we're, you know, crossing paths. Jackson had fallen asleep. So I was waking him up. I look over and he's all leaned into my car. Ryan is. And I didn't know what he was getting. And most likely, my phone, he don't, takes don't, things. Don't, don't, I didn't Don't tell know. me most likely. You saw so, him leaning into your car. Yes. So I grabbed his keys out of the ignition of the car he was driving and I tossed them into the middle of the road to get him out of my car. And he then grabs my keys and he gets out of my vehicle and tosses them as hard as he could into an empty lot. Okay, so you threw his keys into the road, he threw your keys into an empty lot. Correct. So far that's pretty consistent with what I read in both the complaint and the answer. Go ahead. So I tell my son, um, baby, you know, he's awake now, uh, baby go sit up on the porch. I had to get my keys to get the house key. I went towards uh, the empty lot to find my keys and he, Ryan, was, you know, yelling pretty derogatory terms to me and I turn around and that's when I saw him. He was coming around the passenger side, front fender, and he gets something out of his pocket and did this motion like a knife, I thought, and he goes across my front you have, driver's side. Do you fender. have pictures of your car? I do. I'd like to take a look at them. And I'd like to see the police report as well. Okay, there's pictures and there's the police report. Did you ever file criminal charges? He asked if I wanted to press and you charges said yes. and I said yes. And you said yes. Other than the contact that was made by the police on the second. Were you ever contacted by the police again? Uh, no. With regard to this? No, she dropped the charges the next she, day. No, 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 I sure. didn't. Oh, okay. Show me. Did she drop the charges? Yeah. Uh, how, uh, how would I have that? The police... Well, you, then you... I never then, got a then warrant. You don't, then you don't know what happened. Well, a warrant never came out for me. That doesn't mean she dropped the charges, sir. Well, she I told mean, me the next day she dropped the charges. I didn't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. You are such a liar. Then how come I never got charged for it? Because they may have had other things to do than get in between you two idiots who had a fight <laughs> in front of your eight-year-old. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. You every, have to pay for the scratches on the car, go, you fool! Every time I go around her, there's you a fight. You fool! Hey, would you like to see some of her text messages to no, me? No, I don't want to see any text I got messages from her. I think you're a big baby. About her. <laughs> I think you're a big baby. Judging for the plate, I wish I could play the a amount of five hundred and forty-nine dollars. We're done. Please are excused. You may step out. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. I wish. Every time there's there's drama like this. My son didn't have to witness. And that's why I don't go around that much because it always happens in front of him. This kind of behavior from either one of us. A bad one. Bad example. He's out of his mind. So we just don't get along, we'll never get along. An order of protection. I guess she, maybe she needs mental health.